I'm at the house at 839 Creek Gate in the West Creek subdivision. I'm going to give you a 360 of the neighborhood here. This subdivision is off of 1604 off and Military Drive. So you're close to Lackland Air Force Base, Sea World, and you can go ahead north to the shops at Lock and Terra, UTSA, and USAA. This house is on a cul-de-sac. It is also on a green belt, so it has no back neighbor. It has trees behind the back fence. This subdivision has a uh, community pool, two community pools, playground, sports court, basketball, tennis, lots of amenities. I'm going to take a look inside here. This house is roughly 2,900 square feet. It's got a brick and rock exterior. Nice landscaping here in the front, covered porch. This is a four bedroom, three full bath with a bedroom and full bath downstairs. So you can use that if you have uh, elderly parents or people just visiting, they don't have to go upstairs. Entry here, we got uh, tile entry, nice stained concrete throughout. There's no carpet anywhere in the first floor, which is great for people who have pets or who have allergies. I'm going to give you a layout here. Uh, on the right side here, we got the living room, dining room combo. Um, back behind there, we have a family room. To the left here, we're going to have the um, entry to the garage, the single bedroom downstairs, and the full bath. And upstairs is the other three bedrooms. So let's start here in the front. This would be, uh, this is currently set up as a full living room, but this could be your living room, dining room combination here. Large area. Where that ceiling fan is is where you would typically set up your formal dining area. Nice color uh, walls here. That easy, easy to maintain stained concrete. Here we have a double-sided uh, fireplace, so you have a, a pass-through on either side. This would be typically set up as your family room. Right now it's set up as a formal uh, dining room, so each, whichever configuration you'd like. This is a very large area, so if you don't need a formal dining um, that often, you can make this area here your formal dining and formal living room, and then make this area that is currently set up as dining room as your full uh, family room. Set up your entertainment center, etc. Again, this is the second side of the uh, double-sided fireplace, so that's really nice. Off to the left here, we got the kitchen, large kitchen area. Kitchen island, tile floors. And you have lots and lots and lots of counter space and as a, in addition to a lot of uh, cabinet space. Tile backsplash, dual sinks. Here we have the stove and the microwave, built-in microwave. And additionally we have a second built-in oven. So if someone likes to do a lot of baking, this would be perfect for them. They can bake in two different ovens. Also have here a desk setup and additional cabinets. And then this is your eat-in or informal dining area. If you want to just have your normal day-to-day -day, uh, eating area, or if you have little kids, this is a perfect place, easy to clean up. And give you a view here from the corner so you can see the how big this open kitchen is. All right, let's head out to the backyard. Got a nice covered patio here and they added onto it with an extension for the decking. So we got ceiling fan here, covered patio. And then for entertaining, you have a nice deck. Also have storage shed and this lot is a lot bigger than your typical lot so it's a large lot so even though you got the deck 
you still have a large area here for for playing or for pets or kids good size yard still available so as you can see here we got the green belt so you got just trees behind your back fence a lot of privacy here Lots of room for entertaining, barbecues. Now from the kitchen, we can head out to the utility room and pantry. And this is a pass through to the bedroom. So we've got nice tile floors. Again, no carpet anywhere in the first floor. Washer dryer hookups, lots of shelves for your utility room and for your pantry. This is a very deep, about 18 feet deep uh, room. So you got lots of room for storing. And we go out here to the full bath downstairs. So you got the, sh the shower tub combination and tile floors sink and commode and right across from this is the downstairs bedroom tile floors and you got your closet so this is a typical size uh, bedroom and that way if you have someone visiting who doesn't uh isn't good with stairs they don't have to worry about it you could also turn it into your office if you don't need that many bedrooms down or that many bedrooms period this is a garage, typical two-car garage. We just want to show you so you can see that there's room for storage on the sides. Uh, you can park your vehicle, your car, or in this case, motorcycles. You got the automatic garage door opener, and there's also a full sprinkler system. You got additional closet space, and I just let's pass this area here. We're gonna go back through this area again. This just got a down uh, under the staircase storage so a lot of storage space okay it's going to head upstairs the top of the stairs here we have a good size game room a loft area this is set up as an exercise room you can also have this as, as your media room, your movie room. Off of the game room, we got an unfinished storage area. So currently set up as a storage area. You could also finish it if you'd like and put carpets in, uh, run an AC vent in here and make this an office area if you'd like, like a small office. Um, that's a possibility, you just use it as a storage. This home was built in 2004 and has only been one owner. So this is first time on the market. This would be your uh, third bedroom. Nice neutral color here. Ceiling fan, most of the bedrooms uh, have, actually all the bedrooms have ceiling fans. Get your closet. Here's your hallway bath. So this is your third bathroom. Get again the shower and tub combination. So each of the bedroom uh, bathrooms is full baths with showers and tubs. And this will be your fourth bedroom. And I'm going to show you here. We got a nice uh, walk-in closet there. I'm going to turn my light off here so we can see the back air from the from the upstairs. Kind of give you a view of how big that yard looks. You got a better view here. Back fence and again, total privacy in your backyard. Storage shed and the deck. Looks beautiful from up here. Lots of space. All right, we're going to head out. 
Here's another uh, storage closet. So we've got lots of storage room in this house, lots of living space, and lots of bedrooms. All right, we're gonna head to the masters. This masters is absolutely huge. It is roughly 20 by 20, but maybe 20 by 18, but it is huge masters. Got a pop-up ceiling. Obviously you have room here for some big furniture. You can put a king size bed, some nightstand, some dresses, and still have lots of room to spare. This has a uh, sitting area. You can also make this a, um, a small home office if you'd like, so you have a lot of options. Gonna swing on here so you have a view of the how big this bedroom is. Again, it's got some good pieces of furniture in here, but there's still lots of room. Then we got a very good size master's uh, bathroom, dual sinks. You have a huge, deep garden tub. So that's perfect if you wanna relax after a hard day, have some peace and quiet. Also, of course, this master's is split off from the other bedroom, so you have additional privacy. You got your stand-up shower. Here is your uh, commode. And then the closet. Now this closet is roughly 15 feet by 10 feet, so it is literally the size of a bedroom. That is your walk-in closet. So again, tons of storage space. This thing goes all the way back. So this is a beautiful home on a cul-de-sac and a green belt, which is hard to find. You've got great neighborhood amenities with your pool, playground, sports court, basketball, tennis, volleyball, all kinds of stuff going on in the community. 2,900 square feet, four bedroom, three bath. Stained concrete floors that are beautiful downstairs and a lot of room in the backyard for entertaining. If you'd like more information about this home or would like to schedule a showing, my name is Mark Fee. My cell number is 210-618-9161. Or you can call the office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. And of course, if you're already, already using a realtor, it is set up and centralized showing for easy appointments. Thank you so much.